All right, hi guys. Um, this is going to be a bit of a different video today. This is actually my contest entry video into uh, Rick Dangerous's uh, 99 subscribers competition. Um, at, at the time, he only had 98 subscribers, and that was two weeks ago, and I think he's up to like 135 now already. So, mate, your channel's obviously doing very, very well. I can see why it's got a lot of appeal. It's very, very uh, twisted, very fucked up. The kind of films you like, I, I admire deeply. Um, your, your, your passion for things bizarre and uh, insane. Um, so keep it up, man. Keep your channel up. Keep doing what you're doing. It's great fun. Really like watching your videos. Um, and uh, in his competition, he's got uh, first prize is 20 quid towards something from like off Amazon or eBay, and second prize is a is a tenner's worth of, uh, of 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 something, which is wicked. So it'd be good to be in with a shout. But even if I don't win, it's the taking part that counts. It's the taking part that counts. For those of you who aren't subscribed to him, there's a link down below. And you can subscribe to his channel, go and check him out, he does some great videos. Uh, he's a really nice guy as well, and he's got an envious collection. Um, so, uh, his, his competition, he's got like five quiz questions, um, which I'll go through pretty quickly. The first question was, Peter, Ray and Egon are all part of which, which group? Well, you know, come on, Ghostbusters, man. I love that film, I love that film. I could tell you the answer to that to the, to the cows come home. But there's some people out there who don't know the answer to that. that that's, that's crazy, right? Um, the second one, I actually did have to Google this one. What connects Eli Roth and Scott Spiegel? I don't even know who Scott Spiegel is. I don't even care for Eli Roth, you know. That, that's probably why. Um, they have what in common? And it's the production company Raw Nerve, I think. I hope that's right. Um, and they produce Hostel with Raw Nerve, the Raw Nerve company, I think. I think that's what connects them, hopefully. Andy Dufresne... And Red were found in which prison? That would be Shawshank. Um, I'm hoping that's the name of the prison as well. But it's Shawshank Redemption. Um, Brad DeRiff voiced which on-screen killer? That would have to be Mr. Charles Lee Ray Chucky um, from the Charles Play movies. There's a great video on Rick Dangerous channel um, of him putting on a Chucky mask and scaring, I think, like his little brother and sister. Um, yeah, very funny, very good. I used to do such things. Um, and the last one, 100 medically accurate and 100 medically inaccurate were the taglines for which two films? That would be The Human Centipede and The Human Centipede Part 2. I haven't seen Human Centipede Part 2. Um, I've heard mixed things about it. A lot of people will slag off the first one. I, I thought it was great. I thought it was brilliant. I've just realised, unconsciously, I've had my glasses on all day and there's glare on it. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. Um, anyway, so yeah. They're the answer to my questions. The last thing um, that that Rick wanted us to do when we entered was just show him our favourite um, DVD or Blu-ray edition of a film that we've got. So um, what I wanted to show it's a Blu-ray and it's my favourite film. It's my all-time favourite film. Um, it's a still book and I've not got very many still books. I want to start building up the collection of still books for films that I really like and really like the artwork for. But um, this was actually a gift to me by my girlfriend at, at last Christmas. Um, and uh, the film is Glengarry Glen Ross. I, if you don't know about it, I'll explain briefly. Glengarry Glen Ross, this is the still book. For anyone who knows this film and had the DVD edition, you'll know that this is a significant improvement over it. Glengarry Glen Ross is a film uh, starring Kevin Spacey, Al Pacino, Jack Lemmon, Ed Harris, Alan Arkin, Alec Baldwin. It's got a wicked, wicked cast. That's about it, actually. All those names that I just mentioned, that's the cast. And it's all dialogue driven. It's all about these salesmen. They're coming to the end of the road. It's the dying period for salesmen. It's, it's about masculinity failing, basically. It's 24 hours of masculinity failing about how men try to prove themselves, how they can prove themselves in life, how they prove self-worth and, you know, like double crossing each other, trying to step over each other to get ahead. What does it mean to be a real man in America in this time? And it's got some amazing, amazing performances, not least from this guy, Alec Baldwin who does this very famous scene, if you've seen the movie, always be closing. Sorry about the glare there, always be closing. That's a very, very, very uh, significant scene in the film. Um, it's instantly quotable, this film. It's fantastic, I absolutely love it. Um, I recommend you check it out. But the thing is, you need to like dialogue-driven movies. Nothing happens in this movie apart from dialogue and like one other thing. But it's all dialogue, but the dialogue is blazing, it's brilliant and it's great. This still book is fantastic as well. Um, I just love the, the, the sheen on it. I just love the presentation of it. I, lo I love how clear that always be closing is. Always be closing is such a significant thing. I watched this film 
uh, in my last year of uni. And then when I left uni, I went into sales and I had this picture, this exact picture stuck on my computer screen um, while, I, while I was selling to try and inspire me. As it went, the job was shit and I hated selling and I got out of it. But all the more reason why I like this film, because this film says sales is shit, selling is shit, selling your soul is shit and selling your friends out is shit. Uh, everything's shit really but this film is great so Glengarry Glen Ross that would be my, my, my favourite out of all out of all the things I've got my other favourite would be out of these two I love Blade Runner but it's a very minimalist still book and King of New York has just got wicked arty artwork on the front anyway Rick that's that's my entry to your competition man um, if you haven't seen the film check it out it might not be up your, your uh, street with all the other weird shit you like but hey we've all got time for a break um, congrats once again mate brilliant channel um, and uh, I hope the uh, subscribers keep going up and up and up.